Hi, Carla. Hi, love. Is Steve back? Well, I've just spoke to Peter. Apparently, Steve threw open a plant pot. When will he be back? Well, as soon as possible, I hope. Plant pot? A plant pot. Right, come on, fella. Oh! That's less to me. Even think about it. You better get yourself in that pub now. Come on. Ah! Do you know what you are, Steve MacDonald? Hey, you're a disgrace. Oh, and thank you, Peter. Thank you for looking after him. I hope you've said thank you to Peter. I have, yeah. Hang on a minute. I thought you said you threw up all over yourself, and that's why they wouldn't let you in a cab. Peter washed my clothes in the shower and hung them over the radiator. It's very hot in that bedroom. Really hot. Go on. Get in. You're on a shift. Oh, and by the way, I want the accounts doing an all. Hangover or no hangover. It's got me looking at the lamp pot. Really for opening a plant pot. Well, everyone, please shut up about the plant pot. <laughs> it's a plant I feel sorry for. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I'm going to go and lie down. Oh, oh, no, you don't. You get back here. I've not finished with you yet. <laughs> Still, we have all done it, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And so, what time did we get in? Oh, ages ago. She has been on a Tim non stop. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really like Michelle. But she said all that needed to be said when Steve phoned this morning. There's no need to give him so much grief. I mean, it's not as if he's an alcoholic like Peter or that he's seen another woman. He threw up in a plant pot. Celebi. Hey, Tim. Oh, hi. How's Steve feeling? Uh, no, not too good. He should have been working this afternoon. Yeah, so should Peter. I just send him home. Don't think you got a wink of sleep with Steve snoring. Well, there's men for you. Leave them to their own devices is what you get. Is Michelle in? I just want her opinion on a pair of shoes. Yeah, yeah, she's in the back. I'll go and get her. No. No, I don't think I could even swallow painkillers. Oh, no. You can't lie there all day, you know. Them accounts want doing. I know. And Amy wants picking up from Deirdre's. Oh, and you were supposed to ring that electrician about the fuse box. We meant to do that weeks ago, but no, he just laughs things off, doesn't he? I mean, why would you be responsible when you could go to a casino and get smashed? Shell, Carl wants to see you. What would she want? Why would you care? Uh, I think she wants to show you some shoes or something. All right, come on. Accounts, now. Liz, can I take my break? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. How could you get smashed in front of Peter? Have you not got any brains, Steve? Oh, yeah, I like them. Liz, I'll see you for mm. Oh, right -o. Oh, sorry. Oh, teeny, drop some in. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right now. It's not uh, it's not a good time. Let me in, Peter, or I'll scream. <sighs> oh. All right, okay. okay. <sighs> Did 
Did anybody see you? I don't know and I don't care. <sighs> you know, I tell you that I might be pregnant. What do you do? You scuttle off with Steve. You avoid my texts. You avoid my calls. Tina. No, 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 no. Please. You don't get to speak. I'm talking now, right? You're a coward, Peter. Oh, they stopped the press. You know, I didn't sleep last night. I just lay there thinking, what if, right? What if I was pregnant? What if he left or what if he didn't? Anyway, you know what? We're about to find out right now. Hey, hey wait. Here's a what if. What if, what if Carla comes straight back in? What if she walks if in? If Carla walks in, she can sit with us and wait. And I will tell her everything. And I'll take whatever she throws at me, because I've had it up to here. Right? All right. Oh, and then... Um, one more thing, just to be clear. If I am pregnant, I'm having it. 